Hello everyone, and welcome back to Sakura MMO. Last time, Nevi showed up some douchebag. This episode, Nevi's gonna own his bitch ass yet again. I guess. More like kill him is the proper term for it. Whatever. I got an achievement. And the burst of dark energy that looks more like light energy, if you ask me. Is that magic? It is magic. She's a mage after all. Okay. Fills the air. Those clouds from form up their cobblestone roads. There's a pause. A long silence. And then sudden cheering. I've never seen any. I've never seen a a powerful dragon before. Ah, oh, crap. My store. Somebody has to pay for my store. Shut up. <laughs> and the money breaks out. A little incident in the market square. Nevi and I have leave Hawthorne behind us. I wanted to be conspicuous on my travels, but taking out a large man with the cheetah's head is anything but that. Andrew's war of being bombarded with questions and comments and curious stares wasn't very appealing, so I decided to leave. Nevi, being my faithful maid, followed my heels. No, it's suddenly in a forest. Now, half an hour later, the two of us find ourselves in the outskirts of a forest that's rather familiar to me. I was, I was in this forest on yesterday. It's the same place where I fought that female knight who dared to attack me. It's Roseberry Forest. The air is cool, maybe because of all the trees. The leaves make a canopy showing the top of my head from the sun. A few birds twitter in the branches of the trees. Insects chirp in the undergrowth. The grass about my feet sways gently in the breeze. pretty here, and much more harder than the market. It's relaxing, but... I have two questions I need to ask. So, Nevi, I'm very glad you wanted to defend my honor, but did you need to antagonize that man so much? Whatever do you mean, my lady? I told you I wanted to try and blend in with other villagers. I didn't want to stand out. It was unfortunate that that man picked a fight with us, but we could have settled our dispute in a peaceful manner. You mean you were actually going to apologize? Maybe. I would have kept him happy. 
But my lady, that's wrong. You shouldn't have. A, you shouldn't have, apo have apologized. He was the clumsy elf who bumped into you. How dare he try and threaten me? How dare he try and threaten you? He had no right. You're the great dark wish. He's nothing but a brute. People like that should know their place. And if they don't, they should be put into their own place with force. I know, Navi, but he was not aware of my true identity, and I didn't want him to find out about it. Or anybody else, for that matter. Oh, my lady. I'm sorry if I made if I made a scene. I simply couldn't help myself. When I heard that, that awful man tried and threatened you, it made me so mad. You should have been groveling at your feet and begging for forgiveness. But anything, I think I went too easy on him. Anybody who dares lay so much of a finger on you without your permission should have their hands cut off. <laughs> cut off? <laughs> Jeez, that was, that was so crazy. cute! That would seem so nice! She's a bit protective, let's just say that much. Let's just leave it at that. Isn't that a little extreme? You're... quite passionate, aren't you? Yeah, let's go with that. Of course I'm passionate. It's a mark on how much I care about you. I sure made I will do anything with my abilities to serve you and keep you safe. That is what I swore on when I took the sacred oath to become your humble servant. Keeping you out of harm's way and protecting your good name is the utmost importance to me. That is what I give my life me. And now she's getting even closer to me. If he's close to me, if he's so close to me, her noses are bumping. See her eyes is in stark detail. They're large and glistening, almost consuming. If you ordered me to, if you ordered me to, I would drop dead for your sake. That's how much I care. Jeez. This girl was devoted to me, but I didn't realize how 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 devoted. Maybe I should, maybe I should have a word with her. Uh. <laughs> Thank you for worrying so, but you don't need to go quite that far. But I do, my lady. You're the one who saved me from the slums and gave me a career. Don't let me make something of myself. It's because of your kindness that I am able to support my family who still live in Altberg. You gave me the clothes on my back, the food to eat, a place to stay, and a bed to sleep in. For that, I'll never stop being grateful. And I'll never stop serving you. I'm sorry if I went against your wishes, and I apologize for making you ruckus. But I will not apologize for caring for you. If my affection bothers you, then feel free to dispose of me right here, right now. Jesus Christ. <laughs> if he guides my right hand to her breast and presses it against her ribcage. You can feel the beating of her heart beneath her skin. It sounds quick and tremulous. Almost like a baby bird's. You may pull my heart out. From my very chest, if you wish, my lady. You can do whatever you like to me. My body exists to serve you, and therefore it belongs to you. My this organs needs to chill. My organs and muscles and bones belong to you. Now, ah, let's not get too carried away. I'm glad you defended me. It shows what an exempli exemplary servant you are. Really? Really. I'm very fortunate. I'm very fortunate to have a maid as dedicated as you. I value you a lot, Nevi. You're important to me. Important? Nevi stares at me. She blinks. Her cheeks begin to turn pink. I'm important. Well, she said I'm important. Indeed you are. You're important to me. And I'm not going to plug your heart from your chest. Or break your legs. 
or whatever it is you might want me to do. I'm gonna take care of you because you're a good maid and a close companion. Oh, my lady. I don't deserve such high praise. I'll be the one who decides whether or not you deserve my praise or not. Oh, yes, of course. Maybe bows her head in subjugation. I am very blessed to have a maid such as you by my side, but, but, it would be nice if you were to touch, if you were a touch less impulsive. Oh yes, I've always been impulsive. And I try to, act, try to act calm, but when someone makes me mad, I can't control myself. I guess I'll have to be. A, I guess I have a bit of a bad temper. bed of one, you say. I don't know if Nevi's behavior back then can be fully chalked down to a bad temper, though. It is just my imagination. Is it just my imagination, or did she take an almost sadistic lean on me? Like... She says she was trying to avenge me, and I don't disbelieve her. Perhaps the prospect of left X sex more than that should. I shouldn't need to worry. Nevi is my lawyer supernatural. She won't turn against me. She'd sooner rip out her still beating heart than cause me harm. Well, never mind. What's done is done. We have to return to Hawthorne we have to turn to Hawthorne Market another day. When the gas has died down. Maybe bows her head. Once more, I apologize for disrupting your plans, my lady. You don't need to apologize. I've already forgiven you. Oh, thank you. Your forgiveness is much more than I deserve. So, um, did you wish to purchase something from the market? Not particularly. I just wanted to live around a little. Well, Rosemary Forest is a good place to a good place to any to explore. Want to walk? Certainly, we can, my lady. So, there isn't much more here. Just trees, I think. I happen to be fond of the foliage. You don't see that, that many trees in Tokyo. Unless you go to one of the parks or shrines. I never had much of a chance to enjoy nature. I was too busy going between home and work. Home and work. <laughs> Running around a forest will be a nice change of pace. At least I don't have to look at any great buildings. I'm sick of the color gray. Oh. I sigh softly. The forest is so peaceful. At, le at least it was until... Ah! I jump in surprise. What was that? Hmm. Maybe places her fingers underneath her chin as she ponders. Sounds like somebody is crying, my lady. Crying? Indeed. If I had to hazard a guess, if I had to hazard a guess, I would say the crying belongs to a young woman, perhaps in her late teens or early twenties. My brow furrows. What's a young woman doing crying in the middle of the ro of the Roseberry Forest? Mm. Maybe she's being attacked by bandits. I hope she's being attacked by bandits. Wow, what a great person you are. I haven't had a chance to use my magical powers yet. My fingers are just it itching for the chance to unleash a dark flame spell on something. Now that's why. Plus, there's always the chance the girl could be cute. 
I'm always prepared to execute point, score points with a cute girl. Say, hey, Nevi, why don't you and I intervene? This young lady may need our aid. Oh my. Nevi bows her head. A small, thin smile captures her lips. I too was thinking the same thing. There is nothing I would love more than teaching a couple group of ruffians a good lesson. Why's it gotta be so loud? I don't know. When Nevi and I make it to the source of the commotion. Wait, where are the bandits? Unfortunately, it appears it appears as though there were no bandits. We were a touch too hasty in our assumptions when we went. That figures. I was looking forward to using a dark spell, dark flame spell too. <laughs> oh well, I suppose it's a good thing this young woman doesn't have, hasn't come, come to any real harm. Wait, then why is she crying? I, I don't know why. Uh. <sighs> Guys, you didn't even try it with this one. But anyway. Oh, well, we're going to end this episode off here. Like I said, they didn't really try with this one. No, they did not. Anyway, bye guys. So long.